friends today in this video lecture series I'm going to introduce a new playlist in my YouTube channel that will be spectroscopy and in this playlist I will try to add videos about UV visible spectroscopy IR spectroscopy NMR spectroscopy and mass spectrometry why spectroscopy is important I will not be talking about the physical parameters or physical derivations of the spectroscopy but my focus will be in this video lecture series is to consider the spectroscopy as a main tool to determine the structure of organic compounds because as you look in a broader picture of organic chemistry you must know how you can say you have made this compound in order to answer this question you need to have a good or sound knowledge of spectroscopy because this comes handy when you have to characterize the compounds all right this was a brief introduction why spectroscopy is important in organic chemistry in short answer you need to identify the compounds you need to do structural uh, analysis or characterization so for that you need a spectroscopy and there are so many types of spectroscopy but I will confine this playlist to mainly four maybe I will discuss Raman spectroscopy later on but I'm not sure but I will discuss for sure your visible spectroscopy IR spectroscopy NMR including 1d NMR and 2d NMR I will guide you about how to interpret NMR spectra spectra and all of those steps in <coughs> next videos excuse me okay let's start from the very basic this is a first introductory video about spectroscopy where you will learn a very few basic things if you already know it excuse me for that this video is for learners beginners for more advanced versions I will teach you how to practically do NMR how to practically do stuff and how to analyze the data and how to report the data into the research papers for advanced videos keep watching this channel I will upload more videos let's start with the definition uh, the interaction of electromagnetic radiation energy with matter is called spectroscopy now there are some keywords here one is interaction like how the electromagnetic radiations are going to interact with the matter that is our one keyword and second keyword is electromagnetic radiant energy what is it from where does it come from and the third one is matter and you already know it so what is spectroscopy include a group of instrumental analytical techniques used for quali quantitative and qualitative analysis of inorganic organic and biological compounds so if you look at the energy states of matter this is very basic it has two main stages one is ground state and another is excited state and the ground state is also called low energy state and high energy state so these this is the basic terminology you need to know and then next question is how interaction of matter with electromagnetic radiation happens there are basically two types in which interaction of matter is happening with electromagnetic radiation one is absorption and another is emission now the last question uh, is remaining in this definition is what is electromagnetic radiation these are the radiations which are present in our spectrum so the main focus of our spectroscopy is visible region which relies start from 400 nanometer to 700 and this is like a ultraviolet or visible spectrum when we will discuss the UV visible we will use this region of spectroscopy and UV starts from 400 to 10 nanometer and the x-rays region starts from 10 nanometer to 0.1 nanometer and from 0.1 nanometer to 0.0001 nanometer is gamma rays and if you go higher from 700 like from 1000 to 0.01 centimeter is IR infrared spectral region and then you have a radio waves and then you have NMR in that region all right in this direction from left to right there's increasing wavelength and as you know that there's an inverse relationship between wavelength and energy so as you go from right to left that is increasing energy so we will be using whenever you use electromagnetic spectrum this is the spectrum you need to remember this one and you need to know the numbers exactly like from which 
number visible region is start and at which number it starts so visible like web coir you must have heard about this violet indigo blue green yellow orange red and then you have nmr and uv visible also and last point about um, um, in this video lecture is about principle of spectroscopy so as i mentioned that matter has two states energy uh, one is ground state and another one is excited state and ground state is low energy and excited state is high energy what happens any matter and there are some energy levels one two three four you call them v1 v2 and v3 what happens when any sample or any matter like any compound when exposed to light or it irradiated with light or it absorbs light or when interacts with light what happens it gets excited so it absorbs some sort of energy and shoots from ground state goes into the excited state like this one so this molecule or this electron absorbs energy certain energy of certain wavelength and goes into the excited state now from that excited state it goes back into the ground state so if this is happening that is a spectroscopy and if some kind of emission is happening that is called fluorescent spectroscopy okay i will try to cover the fluorescent spectroscopy as well because i have done a lot in my phd so we will discuss the excitation and emission of what wavelength these are particularly important in photo switches or photochemistry i will try to describe those ones in next videos so again quick recap of this video lecture this video lecture was about introduction of spectroscopy in this lecture i described why spectroscopy is important because we need to identify the structure of compounds we need to elucidate the compounds we need to do characterize of compounds and we discuss the definition of compound uh, spectroscopy and then we discuss what kind of uh, uh, use is this spectroscopy used for quantitative and qualitative and then we discuss the in energy states of matter ground state and excited and then we discussed how the matter is interacting with electromagnetic radiations there are two methods one is absorption and another is emission and then we discussed the electromagnetic radiation spectrum and lastly we discussed the principle of spectroscopy I hope you like this video. Please subscribe this channel and keep watching more videos. See you with the next video. Bye.